We started this project in 2003 after receiving a grant from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Before establishing these plots, we had focus groups and surveys of farmers to find out what particular research questions were in their mind, what types of information did they want to get from it, and then we used that information from the farmers combined with some of our research needs to create this particular experiment. And the experiment has three cover crop treatments. We have our rotating pasture, where we have two years of pasture, followed by vegetable crops. We have a system with a traditional fall planted rye vetch cover crop and a system with an interseeded um, hairy vetch cover crop that we will plant between the rows of the standing crops. We also have, those are the main plots, and then those are split between two types of tillage. We have what we call conventional tillage, where we will use predominantly a disc and a rototiller. We'll use a moldboard plow if needed. And then we also have something we call spader tillage, which uses a rotary spader, and we can often prepare a seed bed in a single pass with that tool. Both are complete clean tillage, but there's a difference in the intensity and the quality of the seed bed that we get. Our final treatment split is with amendment. We use poultry manure, or specifically broiler litter, that we have um, turned and heated to remove pathogens. It is nitrogen rich. We apply it at a relatively low application rate. And then we have a compost that we make here on the farm comprised of yard debris, bedding from the Puyallup Fair, dairy solids, and broiler litter. It is lower in nutrients, and so we apply it at a higher rate, and it provides a higher amount of carbon to the soil.